Well, the time of year is coming when uh, we are looking uh, at our mark reports and we're saying, well, a couple of things. You know, we want to pass the course and it would be really good if we don't have to uh, do too much more work on our portfolio. Right, so we'll start and take a look at just how that might happen. Okay, well, when you go to the uh, um, our uh, or my NSCC and you check your uh, grades in the fine print, uh, because we really hope that there's not a lot of people, you know, looking for supplemental uh, evaluation. But there's rules, eh? So the rules basically are two: that uh, you'll need to have a grade between uh, 50 and 59 to be eligible for a um, supplemental uh, assessment, test, quiz, project, and you'll need to have participated in at least 60% uh, of the assignments uh, in the course. So two uh, rules, let's see uh, how they look when we take a look at our mark reports and so on. Yeah, the uh, when you look at the mark report, um, it's fairly easy. Uh, the number at the bottom there is uh, the uh, mark uh, out of 100 uh, before the end of the course. That um, has to get to 50 so that you can be eligible for a supplemental. Of course, if it gets to 60, then uh, we don't have to worry about supplementals. We should really uh, aim at 70. And if you, uh, you know, fall back a bit, you won't fall below 60 anyway. So check the mark report. That's the mark that should be getting very, very close now to 50. How do I figure out whether uh, I'm eligible in terms of the uh, number of assignments that I've done? Well, I think uh, the mark report has about nine assignments in it. Uh, if you've done, in this example, six, that means you've hit 66%, uh, uh, you're good to go. So that's what, you know, just uh, divide the uh, number you have done by the uh, total number, and that'll tell you how you're doing on that score. Well, you know, the great thing about the uh, way the proposal and the project and the portfolio all fit together uh, is at the uh, very end of uh, the course, the 30% uh, project or assignment on uh, getting, making a professional presentation of your uh, knowledge, skill, and ability. Uh, we looked at several ways of doing it. Probably the folks uh, in Philip's uh, group who said, well, you know, I think we could get together and do a Facebook page, probably are going to make the, uh, the most uh, out of their efforts because when you look at the power of the Facebook page and you look at the, uh, at the rubric uh, for these 30 points and you look at what the college requires for the portfolio, wow, it's as if they were all uh, meant for each other. You know, putting together the Facebook page is a real good way to get 30 of those 30 uh, points. Putting together the Facebook page uh, satisfies uh, anything the college could possibly want in terms of your uh, uh, evidence of your knowledge and skill and uh, you know a statement of your career objectives and all that sort of stuff. It's right there and, and very well formatted too. So, so let's get this part done and uh, you know whatever your grade is now, it looks like you can add 30. All right. Very good. 